I'm going to show you how I um, cut patches. David Barfield asked me to show him how or tell him how I cut patches. So I thought it would be easy enough to make a video to do that. Uh, before I do that, I'll show you the templates that I use. This one was made um, out of a piece of scrap brass or from a hobby shop, strip brass. And I cut it with a file and a hacksaw and just snuck up on the, uh, the exact length I needed. The angle's not real critical. This one's fairly steep. Here's a really nice template that was made for me by Skip F. And it's um, got a nice handle on it and everything. It has a really steep, uh, or, excuse me, a really shallow angle for the template. Um, I don't think it works any better uh, or any worse. I don't think the angle's um, all that critical. Um, but it, anyway, um, you can make your own templates if you need to. The other kind of template you need is something to cut strips of paper of a specific width. Here's a one inch brass strip. You can buy this at the hobby shop for a couple of bucks. Um, this is one inch wide. And I'll make a one inch wide patch. But I want to make a narrower patch today. And so to do that, uh, I made my own uh, guide out of a piece of wood and I glued a piece of brass against the, the side of it. Um, cut it to be exactly the width that I wanted, which is seven eighths of an inch for today. The paper I'm going to use is Eaton Airmail paper. Um, it's no longer made. A lot of people ask me about this paper. It's um, nine pound airmail paper, 25% cotton. And I've got enough for a couple more years and then I'll have to go find my own paper. Um, but for tonight, um, what I'll do is uh, show you how I cut this stuff up into, uh, into uh, patches. So what I like to do is get about five sheets at a time. And these are gummed together at the top and if I pull them out just right, these five sheets will be stuck together by that gumming which um, which makes it easier for the papers to keep the pages all um, lined up together. So I lay that on my cutting surface. I line the um, guide with the back of the paper here that you can't see on the back edge. And then I take my X-Acto knife. You could use a box cutter or a straight edge razor blade or whatever is handy. Good pocket knife if you got a sharp one. And I'm going to cut these five sheets into strips. And normally I'd cut all five of these pages into about, about 60 strips of paper. I think I'd get out of this 12, 12 strips per page. You can see the 7 eighths of an inch wide. Tonight I'm just going to do three of these so I can show you how I make patches. So, since I've got all three of these laid out, and I take those three sets of five and I stack them all up again on top of each other. Now I'm going to cut the ends to make the finished patch. Lay them out here on the board. I'm going to change the angle a little bit so it's easier for me to cut as a right hander. Change the angle I lay them out in. And I use the, the guide here to help align the patches widthwise. It's not so important if they be lined up on the length, but you want the width to be nice and even. Drop the template on top, like so. And then I cut the top bevel angle and the bottom one. Just a second here, and if you're good at this, you won't move the template. Cut through all 15 of those like so. And there's 15 patches. Repeat the process for the other half. And rather than try to use this angle that I cut up here at the top of the patch, the top of the strip, for the neck for the top angle on the next patch, I'd rather recut that. That way I can have my patches all precisely uniform in length, each one the same. And the length is really to me more important than the width. The width, if there's any excess, just gets folded under. The length needs to uh, needs to line up. So let's get these all lined up nicely. For some reason that bottom sheet's giving me a little trouble. Drop the patch cutter on it like so. That gun thing won't line up tonight. Right now I'm doing a video and 
you're going to give me trouble. Put that on there, like so. We're good to go. Cut these. Do this without the video running, it's a lot easier. Don't make half the mistakes. And cut the back half as well. And there you go, another 15 patches. Total of 30 patches, ready to be wrapped, wet or dry, doesn't matter. Uh, that's all it takes.